In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the Sonos Aero 100, which we've got right here. The first thing you need to do is download the Sonos app if you haven't already. So we've got the Sonos app and then we're going to plug in the device. We flipped over the Sonos Aero 100 and we just plug in the power adapter it comes with here on the bottom and then plug it into power. Now we're ready to get this set up on the app. We open up the Sonos app and then we just scroll all the way over to the right and then we say set up a new system. Here we just need to enter our email address and then we'll be asked to enter our password. Enter your email and password and click sign in. Enter a name associated with the email address. We're going to click continue. You're all set. Sonos can automatically find your nearby products. It says our location and Bluetooth are on. Make sure that if you're setting this up, you have both your location and Bluetooth on and you are connected to the Wi-Fi network that you want to connect your Sonos Aero 100 to. Now we're going to click done. Now we're ready to set up the Sonos Aero 100 and you can see once we open the app after we signed in, it just pops up right on the app because we've got it plugged in and the light here is flashing green, which means that it's ready for setup. So now let's click add. Next, your Aero 100 will play a chime with an audio pin to temporarily connect to your mobile device. We're going to click continue. Great, connecting to our Aero 100. Now let's add our Aero to our Wi-Fi network. Just enter your Wi-Fi network password. Once you've entered the password, click connect. Now we can choose where we're going to locate this and we're just going to say that we've got it in the family room. Click continue. It says there's an update available for your Air 100 that must be completed. Let's click update. Right now it's updating our product. We'll check back when the update's complete. It took about a minute for the Sonos Era to update and now it is complete. We're going to click done. Now we can set this up with TruePlay if we wanted to. We're going to click continue. It says custom tune the family room for the unique acoustics of your space to optimize the sound. We'll click get started. We'll do a quick tuning. Just click continue. Make sure your room is quiet and your Air 100 is placed where you want it. Next, you'll hear a series of calibration sounds. Begin tuning. Tuning is complete. You'll hear subtle improvements in the family room at first and increase clarity the more you listen. We'll click done. Great, now our Sonos Aero 100 is set up and connected. We can adjust the settings on the Sonos Aero by clicking on the system tab. Here it will take us to our products and we're going to click on the family room or the Aero 100. We can change the name or location of this as well as we can connect this to a subwoofer or set up a stereo pair. We can also adjust the equalization here for more bass, treble, or adjust the loudness. If we go back, we can click on the True Play tuning and we can turn that on or off or even retune it if needed, but we just tuned it. You can also set up a volume limit if you needed to, or you can monitor your line in input if you want that. If we go down here, you can add a voice assistant like ALEXA by clicking right here and you can choose the Sonos Voice Control or Amazon ALEXA. We're going to click Not Now. If we go down here, you can connect via Bluetooth. You can see the hardware status light. You can turn that on or off and then you can turn on or off the touch controls at the top of the device here. You can see we've got our play pause and then our next buttons, as well as our volume controls here at the top to turn this up or down. And then we've got our voice control option right here. So we can turn that on or off if we want that to be enabled for a voice assistant once connected. 
If we go down here, we have some information on getting to know our Air 100 or Sonos voice control. Thanks for watching this video on how to set up your Sonos Air 100. Now you could stream music on this device using your Sonos account and streaming play services. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.